This is a demo of the NKTCVA application in the CTL cell counting software. The software is optimized for high throughput image analysis of individual target cells via fluorescent detection. The NKTCVA or target cell visualization assay detects the lysis of tumor cells by natural killer cells in a non-radioactive fashion where scanning, counting, and analysis is automated, thereby eliminating any subjectivity in the process. The NKTCVA reagent kit includes the target cell dye and the plates required to perform the lysis experiments. When PBMC are added to fluorescently labeled target cells in serial dilution, the percentage of tumor cell lysis is proportional to the number of PBMC or effector cells added. Lysis of target cells is computed based on the loss of fluorescence from the target cells after they are lysed by NK cells. Since the scanning and counting is automated, the plate layout for each plate should be standardized to the format as shown here, where four donors can be tested on each plate, and the PBMC are added in serial dilution to provide effector to target ratios from 100 to 1 to 1 is to 1, and the control samples that have no PBMC added to them. If you would like to customize other E is to T ratios or other plate layouts, please contact a CTL staff and we can set them up for you. With that experimental setup, we can now view a demonstration of the software. On launching the CTL cell counting software icon, you can either open an existing experiment that was performed in the past, either to view the results or to add more plates, or if you are starting a brand new experiment, you should launch the Plan New Experiment link. The Plan New Experiment link launches a window which requires that you enter some details about your work. Study name or name of the study is a mandatory input, but it can be common between multiple experiments. For example, I am going to use a pre-existing study name demo. You can also create a new study by clicking on the Create New Study link. The name of the experiment is a unique identifier and cannot be repeated within the same study. The CTL cell counting software also has the capability to determine the viability of a PBMC sample by counting either live and dead cell numbers within a sample or detecting live, dead and apoptotic cell numbers within a PBMC cell sample. To learn more about viability detection, please visit our website for more information on the CTL live dead apoptotic application. After loading these basic parameters, you are ready to create the experiment. Since the plate layout is predetermined, you can just get started without having to specify unique identifiers for each well. The software opens a window that launches the navigation as well as the selection of wells window. The software automatically starts with position A1 of the 96 well plate. Before starting your counts, you have to eject the plate holder and load your plate onto it. If you have a stacker, your plates will be automatically loaded one after another. You can check the counts of a sample by clicking on the test count icon in the navigation window. You can either select all the wells or the wells corresponding to the number of donors that you would like to test. The first three columns, if you remember, represent donor number one, four, five, and six represent two, seven, eight, and nine represent donor number three, and 10, 11, and 12 represent the fourth donor. At this point, I am going to select all the wells in my plate. You then say start count to get started. You can watch the software detecting the number of live target cells in each well. The software focuses on each well, adjusts the exposure for optimal intensity of the signal, 
and then counts the number of live target cells in that well. The difference between the number of live target cells in the control wells and the test wells with varying values of effector to target ratio is what determines the percentage of cell lysis. You can see that as the software scans and counts, it displays the results on the top. It displays the well ID as well as the live count for each well. By clicking on the show magnified view icon, you can either view a sample as it is being scanned or you can view it after it has been counted. On your counted wells, you will see the cells circled with an overlay. These are representations of the cells that have been counted. Once all the chambers that you selected have been scanned and counted, you will be asked to remove the plate from the plate holder. The software then generates an overview of, the, of all the images that it scanned and counted. By hovering over these images, you can see a magnified view. To check the overlays of the counted versus non-counted cells, you can use the F5 key on your keyboard. If there is a well that you would like to recount, you can double click on it to launch the quality control mode. To remove a portion of the well, say to exclude a fiber or a bubble, just use the remove area icon. You can then circle around the object you want removed. The software will recount the cells in that chamber, removing the area, averaging the cells in the remaining area, and then normalizing it to the total area again. If you are satisfied, you can click on Accept. You can also export the entire plate results to a PowerPoint slide. The export can be as actual well images, dark background with green spots, or it can be exported in grayscale. The slides give an overview of the entire well and can be used for presentations or for documentation purposes. The counted values are also mentioned for each well. If you are satisfied, you can finalize this plate and the entire set of images. Once you confirm this, you can then print the data set right there. The printed version gives details on the well ID, the live count, and the decision whether this was accepted or rejected. After you are done with this plate, you can either add more samples or you can view the results of this plate. To add more samples, use the count without sample IDs icon and repeat everything you just did. You can also preview the summary table after finalizing the plate. You can also print the summary table one more time. You can also export the data onto an Excel sheet for future purposes. The Excel sheet provides the raw data with the specific counts from each well as well as the graphs depicting the percentage of specific lysis or the percentage of killing for each donor that was tested. You can also view the summary table which allows you to see the overview images just as in quality control mode. You can export individual well images either as a JPEG file or to a PowerPoint slide. This concludes our demonstration of counting a set of samples. Just before we end, I would like to show you what Open Existing Experiment does. Since we just created and analyzed an experiment, when we open it, it opens the same summary window that we saw at the end of our experiment. Thank you for watching the CTL cell counting software and the NKTCVA application. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website at www.immunospot.com or contact a CTL staff at 1-888-791-4008. Thank you.